Here with Johnny, who said that he did not want to be a Neil, wanted to be Ned. I know I'm going to bring it up for the rest you're, of you're your life. Of course I, you I are. Can't, because I can't help it. Are. I can't help it. Um, is that is that hard? Like, do people like bring that up all the time? That one line from that opening pack. Of course they do. And I mean, Anil as well. I mean, poor guy. I, I, I have never met the guy. I can't wait to meet him. I hope I get the chance. Uh, it's You know what? It's, it's just one of those things. You know, you're playing the game. You film these bio packs. You're just having some fun. Uh, Anil's a great guy, I'm sure. I've been told I'm going to have a lot of fun when I meet him. So, you know, no hard feelings. Uh, I wish I could have played a Netta game. It just wasn't going to happen this year for me. Uh, somehow I had a huge target on me right from the get-go. God knows why, but apparently I did. Um, so I should take that as a compliment, I guess, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Is it is it hard to sort of see Sarah and Brittany get so far in the game? Because I feel like, you know, while obviously you're happy your friends made it that far, same with Neha, is it difficult knowing that those were your people? Like if you had just made it past that one little hump, maybe that could have been you guys in the final four. I know. Had I had flipped the vote in, in you know the week that Sarah and I were on the block, who knows? Maybe it could have been Brittany and I that went the distance. I mean, I was positioned. If, if the vote would have flipped with the diapers saving me, like... I could have gone a long way with the two of them and with Cindy or Neha coming back, that would have worked in my advantage. So I could have gone far, I think, you know, it was just a crucial week. My sort of game sort of melted down after the instant eviction with Neha going, um, you know, all my eggs were sort of in one basket at that point and, and that was sort of it. So after that, it, it, I would have had to fight. But if I had flipped that vote and stayed or if the double veto had been used, I think I could have went far. I'm not going to lie. So it's a bittersweet, absolutely. But so proud of Brittany. She killed it. So proud of Sarah for pulling out the win in the end. Well deserved. I'm so happy for her. So, so happy. You know, I'm reevaluating my, my whole theory. And I know we started doing this, like, whether it's good to win comps or bad comps. I know we talked about mm -hmm. it before. But I'm almost thinking that, like, maybe it's not good to be a super fan going into this show. Because Peely, obviously, I don't really think really watched the show. And she had a much easier time than all these people that, like, supposedly knew the show backwards and forwards. You know, like you and Jordan. And I know Sarah's a super fan, too. But is there an argument to be made that it's easier for a non-super fan to make it farther? I, I think that there is an argument to be made. Um, I mean, here's the thing. As a super fan, you have all of the past seasons running through your head. So you are constantly trying to figure out what's next, um, what kind of competition is going to be. You're trying to evaluate strategies and or alliances that worked in the past and see if you can add those and somehow mesh those into your game. And I think you overthink things when you're a super fan. Um, I didn't sleep in that house because I couldn't shut my head off because all I did was think, 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 think. People like Peely just went to bed and she was good and she rolled through. And I think that that is a good strategy to have. I think Think that super fans have a hard time they need to calm down when they get in the house and just chill a little bit um so that's something that i think is hard um with the competitions absolutely this season has been the season where look at godfrey he went all the way to the end winning very few competitions one veto and the the hoh at the end so i mean you can do it without winning competitions you can play a great social game and go all the way to the end and he did that he did played a great game now, you're going to have a better perspective on the game because you actually got to watch the episodes. Do you feel like the jury got it right or wrong? And do you feel like they did not respect Godfrey's game the way that we watching at home did? Absolutely. I, I feel like the jury did get it right in the end. Uh, I thought it was going to be a much closer vote, to be honest with you. Godfrey played an amazing game. Um, he is totally underestimated in the house and in the jury. They don't. They didn't see what we saw at home. He was the master strategist. I mean, everything he said was so calculated, and it was amazing to see him play. I mean, the first four weeks in the house with me in there, this guy's just slept through it. I barely had a conversation with this guy. Then I go and watch him from home, and I'm like, I, like can I meet this Godfrey character? Who the hell is he? I was so excited to meet him uh, again, basically. And he just played a fantastic game, didn't get enough credit. I don't even think the guy himself realizes how well of a game he played. Um, you t we've been talking, and he just he, he doesn't see how calculated he was. It was amazing to watch. Uh, I think if he had been against Ashley, I think his, his fatal flaw was taking... Sarah to the end. I think totally. he would have won against Ashley. Totally. You know, eighty thousand uh, dollar mistake. Unfortunately. Do you f believe in the rule of threes? There's a rule of threes on reality shows where the best player always finishes in third place. You know, like we had Emmett in the first season, we had Netta last season, and I really started to appreciate Ashley's game towards the latter part of the season. I mean, she had to deal with the coup d'état. She won three vetoes like in a row. Um, is there a rule of threes? 
Uh, there is, a, to some degree, a rule of threes. I, I would agree with that statement. I mean, season one and two certainly were a rule of three with Emmett and Netta. Um, you know, this season, I certainly have mad respect for Ashley's game. I think the early part of the game, though, she was playing Zach's game for him, unfortunately. She really stepped it up at the, you know, the, the end part of the game, and she pulled out three power veto wins, um, which were amazing. Uh, I think there is certainly an argument to be had that she played a great game. If I say the rule of three applies this season I would probably disagree um, but uh, I mean she played a great game she needs the credit uh, where it's due I'm super proud of her for doing that and, and you know what she showed that at the end she could play Big Brother and she wasn't just playing for someone like Zach and finally what's next for you What's next for me? Well, I go back home. I got to go back to work. But, I mean, I am all about uh, the reality shows. I love Big Brother. The U.S. season is coming up. Super pumped and excited for that. I will be a live feeder, a live tweeter, the whole nine yards all over again. Survivor second chances. Yes, please. Let's see this happen. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to comment on it and be on the flip side of things now, being someone that people look to, which is so weird. The Amazing. super fan that people look to. It's crazy. Johnny, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thank you Mertz. so much.